Today we are starting lesson 24. And so we have a couple pages for you and your family to do front and back. So page 567 and 568 you're just going to do with your family. And we're going to be learning about comparing links. So the first problem says, what is the difference between the length of the spoon and the length of the fork in centimeters? So we want to look at that word difference. That means we're going to have to subtract. Okay, so we're, they want us to do centimeters. So first, let's measure the fork. I got to move the, sorry, let's see. Okay, so when we measure the fork, it shows that it's eight centimeters. So let's just write eight centimeters right next to it. And the spoon is six centimeters. So one way you could do that to find the difference is you can write eight centimeters minus six centimeters equals two centimeters. Another way you could do it is by looking at the ruler. So we know that's eight, and we know that's six, so we're short two, aren't we? Seven to eight. Okay, easy peasy. Now it says, look back. Explain how to find the difference between the length of the spoon and the length of the fork in centimeters. So, I kind of explained it as we went, but the, you might say something like, mm, I can measure the fork and the spoon using a centimeter ruler. Then I can subtract the length of the spoon from the length of the fork to find the difference. So that's what we did together just now. And number two, it says, you can find how much longer or shorter one object is than the other by lining up the objects above a ruler then you can measure the difference. So that's the other way we did it. This one goes to nine, this one goes to six. So we have one, two, three centimeters difference. The third piece of yarn is, how long? How much longer? Three than the blue piece. So how does measuring help you find the difference between two lengths? Uh, let's just talk about that instead of writing it. So if I know how long each length is, I can subtract the shorter length from the longer length to find the difference. Okay, so when we compare lengths, um, I am going to just show you my book for page 571. You do not have this in your book. But it says, what is comparing lengths? It's deciding if an object is longer than shorter than or the same length as. What I know about it. To compare lengths, I should measure the objects. Examples. There's 12 feet, 8 feet. What's the difference? Here's another example. How many units longer? 1, 2. And there's even another example. A pen is 6 inches long. A pencil is 4 inches long. So they have 6 minus 4 equals 2. Kind of the same example as the first one. Okay, like I said, you don't have this one in your packet because I didn't want you to take time to have to do it. I just wanted you to listen while I did it for you, or with you, I should say. Number three, Boone found this pencil and glue stick in his desk. What is the difference between the length of the pencil and the length of the glue stick? So, if we put this ruler down here to measure that is lined up and that is lined up. So 
The pencil is 12 inches. What's the difference? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five centimeters. To check my answer, I could measure the pencil, which is 12, and the glue is 7. So I could say 12 minus 7 equals 5. And they match. So I know that that is the right answer. Okay, this is the one that you do have, page 573. We will do this together. Okay, Nate and Jen each have a piece of tape. Just one minute. All right, there we go. Nate and Jen each have a piece of tape. Who has the longer piece of tape? Nate. Nate has the longer piece of tape. How many centimeters longer is it? Well, they're not lined up, so we're going to do this. We're going to say the tape that he has is 8 centimeters. The one that Jen has is 3 centimeters. So let's just do 8 minus 3 equals 5. That's how much longer Nate's is. 5 centimeters. Now it wants us to explore different ways to understand finding differences between lengths. So we know that Nate has a longer one. So you can measure each piece of tape like what we just did. And then you can make a bar model if you want. And so this would be 5 centimeters. Because there's the length of Nate's, there's the length of Jen's, and then how much longer is it? It will, sh oh, I'm not showing you very well, sorry. So here's the length of tape, Nate's tape, here's the length of Jen's tape, and this is the difference, five centimeters. Okay, so now you're going to do pages 575, and 576 by yourself. And then you're going to come back and we'll do... Oh, wait, no you're not. We're still doing this together. Okay. So now we're on page 575. We'll do 575. We'll do this one together. Now it says, now you will use the problem from the previous page to help you understand how to find differences between lengths. So write the lengths in the bar model. So we know that Nate's tape was 8 centimeters. Jen's tape was 3 centimeters. And so we know this is 5 centimeters. We just did that. I don't know why they're having us do it again, but they are. Okay, who has a longer piece of tape? Nate. Because 8 centimeters is longer than 3 centimeters. Okay, now we're going to write an equation you can use to find the difference. So we could do a couple of ways. We could do 3 plus what equals 8. Or we can do 8 minus 3 equals what? Now it says to complete the sentence. So we would say Nate's apostrophe S. Nate's tape is five centimeters longer than Jen's. Okay, let's go ahead and move to page 576. Now it says, use what just 
what you just learned to solve these problems. Use these stickers for problems six and seven. Circle the sticker that is longer. Okay. I found this on the web. Oh, sorry, my iPhone just went off. Sorry, or my iWatch. Okay, let's go ahead and circle the one that is longer. Number seven, measure and write the length of each sticker in centimeters. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure that. Oh, not inches, centimeters. That tape is four centimeters. And this one is two and a half. Well, three centimeters. Well, I don't think so. I think that's four, and I would say that one's two and a half. But on your paper, being that I copied this, it might be um, different sizes than yours. The book is telling me that this is five centimeters, so it might be the way that my paper was copied, and so it's measuring differently. And this one, it says, is three centimeters. So how much longer is this sticker than that one? Well, we can do 5 minus 3 equals 2. So 2 centimeters. Okay, choose yes or no to tell if you can use the equations to compare the lengths of the worm. Um, 5 plus 2 equals... No, we can't. We could do 5 plus what? Or 2 plus what equals 5, but we can't do 5 plus 2. That's just adding these two together if we do that. I'm sorry, my desk isn't quite big enough for all of this. Okay, next. Just like I said, we can do 2 plus what equals 5. So yes. Can we do 5 minus 2? Yes. Can we do 5 minus what equals 2? Yes, there's those fact families again. Okay, now you're going to do lesson 24, session 2, 577 and 578. You're going to do those by yourself. Thanks for joining me.